The impending Indian economic slowdown is an issue of concern for many. Uncertainty in a slowing growth rate is putting a cloud over celebrations of Indian business honchos looking to extend themselves in the global arena. To tell us more about the risks and roadblocks that India faces, we have with us Naranjan, the executive editor of Mint. Sir, could you begin to tell us how serious is this slowdown? The preliminary numbers show that the slowdown is pretty modest. Uh, if you look at the latest number presented by the CSO for the fourth quarter of 2011, fiscal 2011, uh, GDP growth was about 7.8%, which is far lower than what it has been in recent quarters, but still not disastrous. The real question is that going forward, as the RBI increases interest rates, whether the number will fall further or stabilize it around this level. Given the fact that inflation is such a big problem, how will the country's growth be affected and sustained? See, inflation is obviously the number one economic headache for the government right now. Uh, there was a time, say about a year ago, when inf it was growth which was the main concern, means, you know, supporting growth. But I think now inflation is very clearly their biggest worry. To tackle inflation, the Reserve Bank of India has been increasing interest rates. At some point, the government also needs to tighten its fiscal policy. Both will affect growth. So, at some point, the trade-off has to be made. The question is, how much growth is the government ready to sacrifice to get inflation down to more tolerable levels. What is the government's outlook and what preventative measures are they likely to take? See, as of now, the government's outlook does not uh, show that there's any great panic on, on growth. Uh, most government uh, economists seem to believe that the growth, growth slowdown will be a mild one. But I think at some point of time, the government also has to get into the act as far as controlling inflation goes. Till now, most of the heavy hitting has been done by the Reserve Bank of India. Once the government gets its fiscal policy tighter, which means cutting down on subsidies, raising oil prices, and a whole lot of other things, at that point of time, you could see a very significant impact on growth. Thank you for joining us, sir. That's all we have for now. We'll keep bringing more such perspectives from our editorial team. Thank you for watching.